In the energy quadrant, we're looking at a mild rally in the October natural gas futures, a lower volume rally after four consecutive sessions of lower prices. Over the past five sessions, which includes today, the price of October natural gas has fallen about 6.7%, but has stayed within a fairly tight sideways channel since late June, except for the two day breakout that happened at the beginning of August. On the low today, two spot five zero was the low. That was down about four tenths of 1% from yesterday's settlement of two spot five one zero. The high two spot six one four, up 4.14%. And as we got to the late stages of the day, we were still up about 3.4%. Now we did get the EIA report, the weekly natural gas storage report, and it printed a build of 33 billion cubic feet, smaller than expectations of 42 billion cubic feet, and much smaller than the five-year average of 60 billion cubic feet. The bill decreased surpluses from 249 billion cubic feet to 222, while supplies increased from 3.115 billion cubic feet to 3.148 billion cubic feet. Now, in terms of domestic demand, something we look at every week, we have high demand for the next few days, then it's gonna to ease to moderate to low. The Southern and Eastern United States is going to be hot for the next few days with highs from the upper 80s to the low 100s, still getting record breaking temperatures, for example, in Texas and in parts of Arizona. The Western Midwest will be comfortable from, with highs from the 70s to the 80s and the Northern half of the US is going to be beautiful with highs from the 70s to the low 80s. Then the southern U.S. cools into the 80s and 90s next week, taking demand from high this weekend to moderate to low next week. All of that will affect the price of natural gas futures going forward.